Well, good morning. I um, am demonstrating this um, Ben Wilborn uh, guitar. It's part of his comma series, as you noticed, the little comma here, actually a big comma. And uh, he came up with this design with uh, another fellow a, a while back, uh, a few years ago. And it's a very unique design. It, um, it, uh, the way it's uh, braced inside and designed and the sound hole being at the top, of course, gives the player maximum uh, enjoyability. It's uh, like having your own personal monitor. And it also, the, the sound also projects outward as well as upward. So it's, uh, it's really a uh, full sounding guitar. Um, both for the player and for the listener. And this one um, is a, one of his smaller sizes. Um, it's um, called the Arum. And it's like a double O size um, as far as the um, lower bout. I think around 14 inches or so, maybe a little bit more. And this one, and the way he does these, uh, this series, the uh, comma series, is he has, um, he uses a multi-scale, but it's a mild multi-scale. I think it's about a half inch difference. That allows the, the upper strings to be um, shorter scale a little bit, and the lower string to be a little longer scale. So it, for, it works great for alternate tunings and drop D. This is a drop D tuning right now. I just love how it just provides that full, rich, rich fullness. Um, and I think the scale uh, difference variation helps that some. It's not so wide. So a lot of guitars that are multi-scale have an inch or more um, um, angle. Um, so the, the actual the lower string is actually longer scale than this one. And um, the, the, the upper string is a shorter scale. And of course that works for some very low tunings, alternate tunings. I don't typically do that. Although I did use this on a drop, on a, a open C tuning, which is really full and nice sounding. And I'll probably post something when I get something uh, accomplished on that. Because that it, it really works nicely for that as well. But Ben Wilburn. So this is a Tunnel 14. Um, probably 1500 year or old or longer or older um, top from an old tunnel uh, bridge in uh, from Oregon and the redwood of course was uh, you know 1500 or so years old it was used for some of these instruments this is coca bolo back and sides probably one of the closest sounding woods to a Brazilian rosewood mahogany neck and uh, like the little uh, Wilborn uh, logo on the back. Um, it's a very uh, understated but still beautiful uh, Evo, gold Evo frets. Um, these are also rounded, pre-rounded frets, which is very nice and smooth to play. Ben Wilburn, I think he is in uh, Reno, Nevada. So you can look him up online. He's got larger ones. He's got other models that all of his guitars are just the uh, um, finest work of uh, as many of the builders of the day are. And uh, he, uh, he has some beautiful stuff. Um, so look him up sometime and you'll be hearing more of this as well as some of the other guitars. And I have a little more time to do some recording. I'll also be working on uh, a CD project called Acoustic Explorations 2 Songs of Love. And um, that will be coming up sometime, hopefully, this year. Anyways, thanks for listening and um, have a great day.